Hello everyone and welcome to our e-classroom. My name is Tatiana Panovska and I'll be your teacher for today's lesson. And today's lesson is phrasal verbs, frazalni glagoli. At the end of this lesson, you will know what phrasal verbs are, you will give examples of phrasal verbs, you will understand the meaning and usage of some phrasal verbs, and you will make your own sentences with the given phrasal verbs. Na kraju od ovaj čas, vije ki ke znajete što se frazalni glagoli, ke možete da dadete primjeri za frazalni glagoli, ke go razberete značenje to i upotrebata na neko iz frazalni glagoli i ke možete da napravite sobstveni rečenici so da denite frazalni glagoli. First, what are phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs are combination of a verb and preposition. Verb such as go, look, take, put, come and many other action verbs and a preposition which is a small word that connects other words in a sentence such as of, on, at, for, in, up, down and many others. Frazalnite glagoli se kombinacija na glagol i predlog. Glagol kako go, look, take i site drugi aktivni glagoli i predlog. Predlog je mal zbor ko što gi povrzuva drugite zborovi vo rečenicata. Primer za predlozi se of, on, at, for, in, up, down i mnogu drugi. But be careful! Not all combinations of verb and preposition are phrasal verbs. Only if the combination of verb and preposition changes the meaning of the verb, then we talk about a phrasal verb, because we get a new word, a new verb. Site kombinacij na glagol i predlog ne se frazalni glagolik. Единствено можеме да зборуваме за фразални глаголи ако комбинацијата на глагол и предлог потполно го менува значењето, основното значење на глаголот во, во комбинацијата. Значи се добива нов глагол. For example, farmers look after their animals. Here, look after is a phrasal verb. We have the verb look and the preposition after. In this phrasal verb, look doesn't mean to see, but look after has the completely different meaning. It means take care of. Во реченицата, farmers look after their animals, глаголот look after, е фразален глагол, затоа што а, го менува значењето на look, значи не, look, во look after не значи гледа нешто, туку се грижи. И затоа зборуваме за фразален глагол. Look е еден глагол, а look after е потполно друг глагол. Some facts about phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are real verbs, which means you should pay attention to the tense when you use them. Frazalnite glagoli se vistinski glagoli i koga gi upotrebuvate vo rečenica, treba da vnimavate na gramatičkoto vrem. Phrasal verbs can be followed by an object. Mnogo često frazalnite glagoli se sledini od predmet, koj ili što. Let's see these examples. A nurse looks after sick people. Here you can see the same phrasal verb look after, but because we talk about a fact, uh, look after is in present simple. And then it is followed by an object. Here the object is sick people. 
Let's see another sentence. Monica is looking after her baby brother at the moment. Here again, we have the phrasal verb look after, but the phrasal verb is in present continuous because we are talking about something that is happening at the moment of speaking. And then the object is her baby brother. Another thing about the phrasal verb is that the same verb can be used with a different preposition to form different phrasal verb. Na isti od glagol može da mu se dodade drug predlog i togaš se formira različen frazalen glagol. For example, the verb take. If we add the preposition after, we get the phrasal verb take after, which means similar to, to an older member of the family. Ako glagol od take go kombinirame so predlog od after, dobivame frazalen glagol koji što znači ist e kako nekoj postar člen od semejstvoto. For example, Martha takes after her father. They both like reading books. Marta je ista kako nezinio tatko. Ti je dvajceta sakad da čitat knjigi. Or if we put the preposition up after the verb take, then we get another phrasal verb, which has the meaning of start doing something regularly. Take up. Počnuva da se zanimava so nešto redovno. You should take up jogging to stay fit. Treba da počneš da se zanimavaš so trčanje, za da ostaneš v kondicija. A suggestion. The best way to learn the phrasal verbs is to use them in sentences. Najdobar način, za da se naočat frazalnite glagoli, e da se upotrebuvat v rečenici. Now, here is a text. In the text, there are some phrasal verbs. I'm going to read the text and you try to write down in your notebook all the phrasal verbs that you hear. Ke go pročitam tekstot, a vije, Obidete se da gi zapišete si te frazalni glagoli, koji što gi slušate. Let's begin. When I was growing up, I used to hang out with my friends in the park every Saturday afternoon. Once, my baby sister wanted to come with me. I didn't want to take her, so I lied to her that I was going to the library. When she found out, she was very sad. I felt guilty, so I bought her favorite pizza to cheer her up. That didn't help. She went on being angry with me for weeks. Now, did you get all the phrasal verbs from this text? Let's see. All the green parts of the text are phrasal verbs. Growing up, Hang out, found out, cheer up, went on. Sega ke vi predstavam bo base form i ke gi dadam nivni te značenja. Grow up, become an adult. Grow up, raste, hang out. Spend time with someone. Hang out. Pominuva vreme so nekogo. Se druži so nekogo. Found out ili find out. Find out means discover a fact or information. Otkriva nešto. Otkriva fakt ili informacija. Cheer someone up. Make someone happy. Cheer someone up. Da razveseliš nekogo. Went on, bo rečenicata, go on or continue. 
prodoji. Now, let's do a quiz. You want to spend some time with your friends this weekend. What do you say? Look through these suggestions and find the correct one. You're right. Let's hang out this weekend. She's just like her father. Is the same as... What do you think? Go through the suggestions. You're right. She takes after her father. I was afraid that my parents would discover the truth. Means, I was afraid that my parents would... What do you think? Sure, I was afraid that my parents would find out. Don't stop, please. Don't stop, please go on. She was very sad, so I tried to... Which of these suggestions is the correct one? I tried to cheer her up. I was away for a week, so I asked my friend to... Look after my flowers. At the end, here is the task for you. Write all the sentences from this lesson in your notebook. Write the phrasal verbs and their explanations. Try to write your own sentences using the phrasal verbs from this lesson. Za kraj, zadača za vas je da gi napišite site rečenici od ovej od ovej čas u vašata tetratka, da gi napišite frazalnite glagoli i nivnite objasnovanja i da se obidete da napišete sobstvena rečenica upotrebovajki gi da denite frazalni glagoli. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching and goodbye.